All right, so now we're gonna be showing you guys some lower body warm-ups, and Dave is going to basically take me through them and give you a really good description of why we're doing them, what they're working on, and some cues so you can make sure that you're actually feeling them where you're supposed to, which I know has been really helpful for me. Awesome. So today, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through basically a hip warm-up, glute focused, um, what you're going to need for this is two glute loops, one of slightly higher tension, which is going to go around the knees, and one a bit lighter tension, which is going to go around the ankles. And then we're also going to get a, a yoga block involved here too, because I think when we're talking about hip training, a lot of times people talk about knees out and focusing on activating the glutes that way, but you can actually get some really good glute activation by going the other way and squeezing in as well too. So we're going to talk about that with Nikki when we uh, get going here. Absolutely. And we've been doing some of these actually last week, so I'm incorporating them into not only my pre-leg day training stuff, but actually for like rehab purposes as well. And when we did these together, he's like, oh, Nikki, you sweat through your sweatshirt. It was, I think people always really underplay how challenging these can be with not necessarily a lot of weight or equipment, but honestly, these are amazing and just such a good way to really improve your lower body strength and engagement. So now what we're going to go over is just the basic clamshell technique. So this is a, a fairly introductory exercise that a lot of people kind of overlook. It can be really specific in terms of getting glute activation. Um, the, the biggest key when doing a clamshell, you're going to have your feet together and you're going to have your torso square. Now the biggest cheat that people do is when they lift their knee up into the clamshell is they over rotate their pelvis. So what you have to do is get your hand and you're going to put it on your hip. And you're going to be really aware of that. Something that can even help is using a wall as a backdrop here to prevent that pelvis from rolling back. And then all you're going to really do is focus on engaging and squeezing up. Another thing that happens here is people often use two heavy bands. So we have a yellow band here which is quite light resistance but still very challenging. Uh, you can even do this with body weight and good, get good activation. Um, but too many people load this up too hard beyond what they should be able to do. You want to focus on getting good range. If you're only lifting your knee up two or three inches, the band's too hard for your needs. Good. Awesome. Another variation you can do with the clam is by straightening up the thighs. And then you can do a clam shell here as well too. And it's just going to hit the glutes in a slightly different way. Um, so it's good that we're hitting the glutes from all angles to create good hip joint stability. The next drill we're going to do here, um, it's a sideline hip internal rotation drill. So when we think about the glutes, oftentimes people think about abduction, extension, external rotation, but the glutes are still important in terms of controlling internal rotation. So what I want Nikki to do to start is just do a few reps of straight hip abduction. So there's no rotation component here or flexion or extension. We're just doing hip abduction and sideline. And now I'm going to get her to hold it here. So now her knee is going to stay on my finger. And what I want her to do is go into hip internal rotation without that knee dropping the knee. Keep that knee nice and high. And then control it back down. Now this one is a big time burner. Um, so take your time with it. You might not be able to do a lot of reps. But focus on good control. I don't want you doing super fast internal rotations. I want you to work on controlling your hip joint. And good, let's go back down. Perfect. So now that we've done the, the hip uh, bridges and sideline techniques with the bands, we're gonna use the yoga block. So the yoga block's a great tool to work on our ability to maintain hip adduction. So when we talk about uh, hip stability, we always talk about the glutes. And the glutes are in, important for hip extension, external rotation, and abduction. But it's also important to work adduction, so we have a nice 360 degree stability of the hip, okay? So what I want Nikki to do here is she's gonna squeeze the yoga block. Imagine someone's pulling it away from her, so she's really gotta squeeze. And then I want her to give me a three or four second bridge up, and a three or four second bridge down, always holding tension in those adductors, and still focusing on getting a nice glute squeeze, focusing on the posterior tilt, and this is going to get a great 360 degree hip stability uh, activation. She's going to get uh, adductors, she's going to get glutes, and it's going to just be a great drill for warming up the hips as a whole. So now we're back at our side here, and instead of using the bands, we're going to use the yoga block again. 
And again, this is gonna be to help activate our adductors a bit, but also now we're gonna start working on that hip internal rotation control again. So what I want Nikki to do is she's gonna focus on two things before doing any movement. I want her to get a nice adduction, so she's gonna squeeze the yoga block down, imagine someone's pulling it away from her. And then what I want her to imagine is drawing her femur back into her fingers here. So put your fingers here for me, and imagine drawing that femur kind of backwards. And now, while holding those two things, I want her to go into a hip internal rotation, nice and controlled, and I want her to control it back down too. The key is control with this, guys, because I don't want her just kind of flopping up and flopping down, just going through the motions. I want her to imagine squeezing and engaging her muscles up, holding that tension and controlling it back down. So you can see she's shaking here without any bands or resistance or weights. She's just really focusing on engaging the muscles and making sure that adduction's locked in and the posterior draw of the femur's locked in as well. This is a great way, you will feel this in the glutes as well as the adductors.